so today I've gone up into London um, and at the moment I am actually here I'm at the HMS Belfast and obviously I've been on it before I've been on it a few times um, but we're gonna go on it again take a look around then I'm gonna go up into London Finn Planet CEX um, see what they've got let's go and visit this historic battleship it's Tower Bridge Tower of London there Lovely day out today. Here we are in one of the gun turrets. Just heading up to the Admiral's Bridge. Mess pantry, officers' cabins in here. But we're gonna go up these stairs here to the Admiral's Bridge. Your attention please, this is a visitor announcement. In 15 minutes time, there will be a short talk about the invention and workings of the system on HMS Belfast. Go on then, that's the flag deck up there. Yeah. But you got the captain's seat. This is the captain's chair. Do you want to sit in the? I'm going to sit in the captain's chair. magazine.
Now we're heading down into the boiler and engine room. Cruise bathroom. No, it still won't be as nearly as loud as it actually would have been at full power. Yeah, so this is the engine room we're coming into. Boiler room down these stairs. Now. Go down here. Here we are in the ship's laundry room, laundry labels. This is one of the skinniest alleyways in London um, and it was a filming location for the film Last Christmas with that Daenerys out of, um, what do you call it? Henry Golden and Daenerys, what the actress's name now. HMS Belfast done. Um, now going to go into Spin Planet. Then I'm going to go into FOP and uh, a CEX as well. So let's go. So heading towards the Forbidden Planet now, up in London. Have a quick look in their window. Tooney Terrors. What have we got here? Um, a Halloween figure Grogu 550 quid wow life-size one-to-one -one scale it's like the one I've got I didn't pay that much though um, that's a lovely statue there 700 odd quid for that Darth Vader helmet there Colossus Molinia 
the Infinity Gauntlet. Some masks. And here we are inside. Um, some nice Back to the Future statues and figures. Pennywise the Clown there. Um, some Star Wars helmets and lightsabers below with figures above. Um, some Marvel figures. Captain America there. Ironheart. Is that Ironheart? No, that's um, oh, a nice Evil Dead 2 t-shirt. And a John Carpenter Halloween t-shirt. Lost Boys. And an actual Forbidden Planet logo t-shirt. So we're looking at some other t-shirts here. It's a Harley Quinn jumper or jacket there to the right. Uh, you got a lot of Batman related t-shirts. See a Flash one there. Don't look through. There's a Batgirl one there, that purple one with a Bat logo. More Batman related stuff. And around here we come to the Oh, some more t-shirts there. Hawkeye t-shirt. Yeah, I'm just sort of looking at that. They've had them there a while. So here we have a lot of the DC figures from McFarlane Toys. Um, and the sculpts on these are really good. You know, these these are great figures. McFarlane Toys... Um, our, our leader up there with NECA in design and sculpts. They do look like the actors. Um, a Shazam statue there. PVC statue. There's a Superman bearded. And around here we've got some Black Adam figures. Black Adam himself there. And down here we've got like a zombified Superman. Yep, they are nice. And some spawn figures, and this is what I'm more into at the moment. I've got that she spawn. There's some Mortal Kombat ones with spawn in there. Um, Ninja spawn, that one. Have a look at that. $24.99 for that Ninja spawn. It's not bad. But here we have, oh, what's this I found? Um, a spawn figure from Mortal Kombat for $9.99. That's a great price. Very good price for that. Some G.I. Joe. Some turtle stuff there. And Jurassic Park. Pops and mugs and whatever else you have here. Some aliens. Alien figures. Some Necker, Scream and Halloween down below. Jaws figure there. Now I'm downstairs and I'm just having a gander at some of the comics. Okay, so I'm out of Forbidden Planet and now I'm heading to the Pop Store. Pop Store. Fop. Pop. I was thinking of Fungo Pops. So this is the Fop Store. The sort of HMV store um, up in London. Um... Sort of new release bit here. Obviously Thor there. Elvis. This box is empty. This is right by the door. That's why these are empty. Black phone down there. Uh, I need to get that at some point. Some other new stuff. But I think I'm going to go and have a look downstairs. That's where all their physical media, Blu-ray, DVD and all that is. This is all just newer stuff. So heading down the stairs. A lot of posters on the wall there. Different films, as you can see. Decent sized section. Let's have a look what we have. Okay, this was the 4Ks last time I came in, but they're not there anymore. They've been moved further afield. Okay, so having a look on this end. They've got the Candyman Special Edition there and the Get Carter. Collector's Edition, some other bits and pieces, I think this is all the anime stuff, big anime section, and I don't know what's happened there to the camera, oh I picked it back up, 
that Keiser's head was off to the left or something. Didn't look like it was on straight. But what have we got here? Um, Raging Bull, I just saw. So no, 4K. Yeah, here's the 4K section. So, yeah, I'm just... There's nothing I'm after or anything at this point. I'm just having a look around just to see what's in here. Um... Yeah, Red Sonja just passed by, stand by me. Star Trek, £60, that collector's edition one. We had some of the Star Trek films there, no Star Trek 6. Anaconda, down to £15 for this special edition release of all those um, from 88 films of, of the Anaconda films. That's a really good price, and that is a lovely, lovely set for £15. Um, if I picked that up for 15 quid, I'd have been so happy. Under Siege. Not I'm not unhappy. Yeah, I'm not unhappy. I picked it up for whatever price it cost when it came out. Was it 25, 30 quid, something like that? Um, it is a lovely set. These are some new releases that are on the horizon. Just posters on the on the wall. Clerks free there. Jodie Whittaker's Doctor Who Beast with Idris Elba. Um, yeah, some stuff coming out. Clerks free, which I uh, don't expect that to be any good. I'll be honest. I think Kevin Smith has lost it. And now I'm in a CEX, just to have a look. And there's some James Bond stuff up the top there. Um, Tintin. Oh, I'm just putting down my bag. Ambulance, £8. That's just the standard Blu-ray. It was a really good film, though. I really enjoyed that. Alvin and Chipmunk, Shipwrecked, I think that was. Um, mooching along the bees. What's that? Blade. Two blades. I wonder if someone took advantage of that offer on um, Amazon and traded those in. Children of Corn there, that's £10. £2 for Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. What have we got here? HD DVD. Um, Cruella, £8. That's a good film. I did enjoy that. Oh, Death on the Nile. E. Enchanted. Disenchanted is coming on soon. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Amy Adams is great in Enchanted. Now we're down in the F's. Fight Club there. £3. I've never seen Fight Club, believe it or not. Never sat down and watched it. I haven't even got it. Um, Eureka, what's this Eureka film? Um, High Noon, is that? Yeah. High Noon. Interesting looking release. Um, but. But. Heathers there, I just saw Heathers. It's a Wonderful Life. Joker, £4. Good price. For a good film. Couple of it free in between us two there. Jurassic Park Jaws. Some kick ass there. All I'm really doing now is just looking. Just seeing what's there. It's, there's one of them packs of about four or five films in. Um, M. Moneyball up there in Martian. Matrix, oh, I'm putting my bag down again. Matrix 4K, Moonfall, just the Blu ray. Why they released the 4K of that, like that's out now, is it? Has that just come out or about due? Um, why release the Blu ray and then months later release the 4K? I'll never know. An afterthought. Um, yeah. Resident Evil, I don't mind those. I prefer the first three than the latter three. Rambo Last Blood, that was. Down into the S's, and you can always guarantee you're going to have Star Trek or Star Wars down there, especially Star Wars. There's Solo there, £8 and 4K. Not a bad Star Wars film. Um, I understand the hate that it got, but it's not bad. More in line with the stuff we're getting on Disney Plus today. Westworld, no booklet in that. I 
think that comes with a booklet. So that's that. Now let's go and have a look at the steel book section. Uh, there's nothing else here. Oh wait, no. X-Men, Apocalypse, and Days of Future Past. Now I did have that on 4K, but I got rid of it because my go-to version is the Rogue Cut, which hasn't got a 4K release. So why do I want it on 4K? And here I am looking at some of the steel books because they've gotten behind a bit of glass. Um, yeah, there wasn't really anything there that sort of caught my eye or shouted out to me. Annoying that some of them are back to front, so you can't even see the titles. Um, but yeah, so there we go. That's it for in here. Okay, so I am back from my trip up London and I am exhausted. HMS Belfast, done that because we took our grandson up there, or one of them, um, for a trip up to the HMS Belfast. And then I went up into London, obviously, for Bin Planet, CEX, all that sort of stuff. And I am shattered, but I did pick up some stuff. I actually picked up <coughs> two bags worth of stuff. Um, so let's take a look in the Forbidden Planet. So first up, a new t-shirt, extra large, and it is, it was £5, it was 4 99 so I thought, well, I shan't give it a miss. It's the Hawkeye logo um, on a t-shirt for four ninety nine. dollars um, I know they had them a while ago, but they're sort of reduced to clear. So happy days, got that. Um, got a couple of figures here um we'll have a look at them in a minute but i got in here i have a couple of books i have a couple of books uh, and oops some birthday cards there and another t-shirt another t-shirt that i paid full price for and that is um this batman with the gray with the black bat logo on it um I've always had one of these t-shirts. I like the sort of simplicity of it. Um, just the grey and the black, it just works. Uh, and the one that I've had is is very old now um, and I wanted to renew it. Um, and there we have it. So I got that as well. I only went in, I, I went in in mind with, you know, I knew that I was gonna pick up maybe a t-shirt and I knew that I was gonna pick up a, a um, maybe a figure if they had the figure I wanted. I didn't expect to come out with two t-shirts And two figures and three other items. But anyway, so I will have a look at the figures in a minute But the other items I got was I got this lovely book um, And it is blacklist Elizabeth Keane's dossier so Elizabeth Keane's dossier of the TV series, The Black Book. It's a lovely big padded book. It's like all thick and soft. And look how much I got it for. £1.99. £1.99. Um, yeah, I couldn't not pick it up for £1.99. You know what I mean? That's fantastic. Um, I love their sales section. Um, and then another book I picked up and for £4.99. Knocked down from 35 when it first came out, and it is The Making of Dunkirk. Yeah, fantastic. Sorry about the reflection there of the ring. Um, the Making of Dunkirk, 4 99 You cannot go wrong with them prices. They had a lot of other making books there cheap, making book, making of books there rather cheap as well. Um, some I've already got, some I didn't, but I really like Dunkirk. Um, so another book for the collection in that sense and i got <coughs> issue two of um gun honey blood for blood um cover is blank on the front and on the back you have sort of like a sketch variant of one of the covers um yeah so i got that as well and then the two figures i picked up two figures okay these two figures are spawn figures. They are spawn. So I've been into this on this kick of spawn lately, the comics, um, the figures, and all this sort of a thing. And I went in and I wanted to get the Mortal Kombat Commando spawn figure. And thus I got him. It cost me $22.99. It's quite expensive for that figure there. Um, but a lovely figure it is. Like so, 
nice size as well. Um, but not only that, they also had another Mortal Kombat spawn figure there, but this one had been reduced to $9.99. Um, so I thought, okay, for $9.99, I'm not gonna leave this one behind. Um, I'd regret it, inevitably. So I picked up that spawn as well. Now I'm not into Mortal Kombat, um, I'm not, but um, I like the character of Spawn, and thusly that's why I, I picked them up. But I've got another one as well, let me just grab it. And, and this is one that I picked up a little while ago, and it's that one there. That's Spawn from Mortal Kombat. Um, yeah, I'm trying to make it to the light angle on it. So I've got three Mortal Kombat now Spawn figures. Um, so yeah, the collection's coming along, it's growing nice. Um, I'm well pleased with that one for $9.99. Um, I don't think I'd have paid full price for that one because it's a bit different than Spawn. Um, but I definitely did want that Commando Spawn version. So yeah, brilliant stuff, brilliant, brilliant stuff. Very happy. Um, so those are my pickups. Um, I didn't pick no physical media up. There was nothing I wanted. Um, yeah, I thought I'd have a look, but, you know, I don't know, I'm getting more excited by this sort of stuff at the moment, but there we go. Um, so some nice figures, some nice books, a couple of decent t-shirts. Um, yeah, the fact that a lot of it was reduced is fantastic. Um, yeah, all very good. Very, very good. I had a lovely day. Um, so this is AJ. Thank you for watching, um, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care all, and goodbye.